So now we're over here in the Zinfandel block, um, or the mostly Zinfandel block, and um, our primary pest concern here um, include, is spider mites. Uh, Zinfandel is really prone to spider mites, and uh, we see it quite a bit out here. So the reason why we're standing along this access road is the main cause of spider mites in a vineyard like this is simply dust. Um, so usually when we're looking at a spider mite infection um, and we're scouting for it, we're gonna be looking first right along the roadway here where we know there's been dust going onto the vines. Um, and that just goes back to, you wanna start by scouting the places that you suspect might have an issue. Um, so we'll walk along this road and take leaves. I like to check both young and older leaves. Um, so when you're looking for mites on the back of a leaf, um, they like to hang out normally kind of along the veins of, of the leaf. So I like to look kind of where, the, where they come together. Um, and you're also looking for predatory mites, which look very similar. But um, when you see a predatory mite, they'll be uh, rushing all over, the, all over the leaf and running around, which is something that a spider mite won't do. Um, and that's just simply because they're running around looking for, for prey. So if you see a yellow dot that's running around, that's good. That's a predatory mite. If you see a few or a bunch of orange dots that are just sitting there, then that's spider mites. And that'll, they'll also have um, the webbing that they produce around them. And if infestations get really severe, you'll actually see webbing on the vines from a distance and they, they can produce a whole lot of web. Um, spider mite damage uh, looks like, we don't have any in this vineyard yet, but you essentially get, it almost is just a desaturation of the leaves and, and, a, and a slight bronzing of the leaves. And what that does, like a lot of things that affect the foliage, it inhibits photosynthesis um, slows ripening down, but not in a good way. And um, you can end up with fruit that just doesn't, either if it's severe, it won't ripen, it won't fully ripen. But um, if it's moderate, you can just get fruit that doesn't quite develop the color and phenology or phenological ripeness that we're looking for. Um, so the thing about spider mites is they're a classic example of what we would call a secondary pest and what that is is a pest that you that becomes an issue after you treat for another pest uh, specifically another well oftentimes another insect and what happens is uh, certain broad spectrum insecticides will kill the pest they're trying to kill but also all of your beneficial insects in the vineyard and then spider mites which are normally food for all kinds of different insects become uh, are able to reproduce without being checked. Uh, so we see it very often in vineyards that are heavily sulfur dusted. Um, sulfur dust is an organic um, product. It's been used forever and it is an effective mildew, powdery mildew control, but it is very harsh on beneficial insects. So we'll often see vineyards that have been sulfur dusted uh, have mite flare ups soon after and then you have to deal with that. So we do try to avoid sulfur dust when we can, especially on Zinfandel um, because of the issue of mites. Um, and between dust control, not using as much sulfur, trying to create an environment that beneficial insects like to be in, um, we get pretty good uh, natural control of mites. 